Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. There has been a gameplay update with MW2 and Warzone 2 that has seemingly gone under the radar since launch that makes it very different from previous years, from Warzone 1, from MW2019, Cold War, Vanguard. And this is a change that ultimately is going to drastically affect your gunfights. Not necessarily every single gunfight, but it could be the most important one of the game that costs you your life, either in multiplayer when you're on a big streak or in Warzone 2 when you are going for a win. And what we're talking about here is recoil because they have made some very big changes to how this works this year. So this has been talked about by a few people. I think True Game Data has already done a video on it a bit, but Warzone Loadout here, who has a really cool site that shows off, you know, meta loadouts and a really cool app as well for Warzone 2. And they had one back during uh, MW 2019 and Warzone 1 as well. They put out a post the other day, and this uh, is a really good visual representation of what's going on here. And I wanna dive deeper into this and explain how exactly this is affecting your gunfights and if there's actually anything we can do to improve this and fix this so that you can consistently win more fights and not have to worry about this but they say this is why long range fights don't seem consistent in warzone 2 they have a recoil chart here using the same gun with the same attachments with the same exact tuning for max recoil stabilization and the same place or same distance that they're shooting four different mags in different patterns every time what's going on with the second one so if we look at the actual image here we get some crazy results so this is the same exact weapon being shot there's no variables here outside of the recoil pattern apparently so the first time they shoot it it goes up and to the left ever so slightly and then goes all the way up right third time they shoot it up 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 all the way up to the right fourth time up to the left a little bit all the way up to the right one three and four all seem like the standard recoil patterns that we've come to know throughout the past few years of Call of Duty gameplay. It's this thing called predictive recoil, or it's a recoil pattern that is the same every time you shoot. Basically, throughout the past three years, especially here in Warzone, every time you shot the M4, it was going to behave the exact same. The recoil pattern would be the exact same. With a few variables here and there, maybe one bullet goes straight left, one bullet goes straight right, but the overall pattern up and to the right up and to the left straight vertical those were the exact same on any given gun every time you shot it it was going to feel the same so you could spend you know five minutes in a private match shooting a gun against the wall seeing how the recoil behaved and you could master that recoil pattern so that you knew exactly how much you had to pull down roughly when you needed to start pulling back into the left to counter the right recoil or back into the right to counter the left recoil but in this game clearly this is not the case and this is huge for any given gunfight in mw2 or warzone 2 and the problem is you don't know when this could happen so we have the second recoil pattern here which goes up into the right a little bit here or first initially obviously it's going up a little bit then it goes to the right about the same time that these other patterns go to the right but then suddenly about halfway through its horizontal movement here it just jumps back to the left and starts going up and to the left more which obviously is going to throw off you know any shot past here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen shots here are going to randomly jump to the left and that could happen at any given point so if you go through and let's say this is for the m4 he didn't specify which gun this is but let's just say for example this is the m4 if you spend an hour using the m4 and you feel like you've got the recoil pattern down you've mastered it you've shot it in some private matches and seen this up into the right pattern you start shooting that in game knowing that it should be going up into the right and then this starts happening with the second pattern that's going to throw off your aim completely you're going to miss all those shots and that enemy is going to have a very easy chance to kill you so even if you go in game here i'm using the m13b for instance because this is already a very low recoil weapon one that's super easy to use and i'm going to go ahead and i've got all this tuned for the max uh recoil control right i've got the furthest eye position so the visual recoil is going to be the least it can be i've got the d37 grip on here tuned for the max steadiness and the best stability i've got the pineapple under barrel on here which helps out with recoil steadiness and keep in mind uh when it comes to recoil patterns based on testing from uh true game data and exclusive ace recoil stabilization is just simply going to help out with a little bit of visual recoil and side to side bounce steadiness is all general recoil so vertical and horizontal so that's a super important stat you always want to look for smoothness is basically some visual recoil and very 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 minor recoil changes not something you'd substantially notice in game whatsoever uh vertical and horizontal recoil control is self-explanatory and any stability is just your weapon's sway right so those are the ones you want to look out for on here i also got the sack and shred 40 muzzle tuned for 
for max stabilization and max gun kick control then the echelon barrel for better range velocity control tuned for max steadiness and if we were to go into the firing range here we're just going to fire off into the wall here right because this is a pretty easy place i'm not going to control the recoil on any of this i'm just going to let the patterns play out i've got my back against this wall so we're going to see exactly what's happening every single time that i shoot this gun right so we go through it's basically up and to the left it's pretty minor we start here up and to the left up and to the left there's a few bullets that jut out to the right here that are a little bit awkward but it is what it is overall it's a very very easy pattern we start over to the right here we shoot again not controlling anything about the same thing right starting point was a little bit higher there but it starts to shoot up and to the left up and to the left but you'll notice here there is this more harsh zigzag in the center on this one it's up and to the right a few jut out to the right left 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 and then back up this one though up 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 right left up right left up right left that's a lot of random movement in there now keep in mind this is a very short distance here this is probably what 15 meters so that that fight's not going to be as wild because recoil with those larger targets in front of you in close range fights not that bad but the further you go out the more difficult that's going to get. And by the way, as we are going through all this today, just want to remind you guys that every single day, I got you covered with news, updates, class setups, tips, you name it. Everything for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ is right here. And around 60% of viewers watching are not already subscribed. So if that's you, you want to join us on the road to 900,000 subs. We're less than 8,000 away at this point. It'd be awesome. It'd be absolutely insane if we could hit that by the end of the month. It's a lofty goal, but we'd love to try. We'd love to have you join us here. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. It's Try and aim for 3,000 likes and very important announcement starting today and going until midnight on the 28th gamer advantage is doing a 35 percent off sale for black friday and cyber monday the best discount you can get on these glasses everything by default is off by 25 percent and then code immortal if you throw that in at checkout gets you an extra 10 percent off your order so you can get that 35 percent discount on anything on the site they've got a bunch of different frame options different colorways prescription or regular lenses they have something for everybody so if you want to check that out link will be down in the description below and then again if we were to shoot this for a third time just for the sake of the uh you know further emphasizing what's going on here you'll notice it's again this one has even more deviation at the start it's still a similar overall pattern of it going up and to the left right but there's random bullets here one jumps out right jumps out left back to the center back to the right back to the left again way left again back to the right so you're getting stray bullets here and there and keep in mind this isn't necessarily bloom or anything this is just recoil patterns not being consistent which in turn is creating a sense of rng and gunfight so if you were to go through and start shooting at these guys you might miss a few extra shots because as we're you know fighting this furthest target out here i one run out of ammo but two you might see how you know obviously how small that target is there jutting out to the right in a situation like this where it jumps from there to there that's a much larger gap when you're fighting at you know 40 meters here and you start to miss shots because of that so this is an rng factor that you can't necessarily control you can obviously go through and build for better recoil like we did here and max out this recoil pattern to minimize the overall movement of that pattern try and make the bullets a little bit tighter when they are jumping out to the right or jumping out to the left and straying from that ideal pattern However, with the way that this is designed, this is basically giving that randomness factor to make it so that you're not guaranteed to win every fight. Essentially, this is just lowering the skill gap and there's not much you can do about this. And that's what makes this kind of awkward. In the past, if you put the time in to master a weapon, you could feel like you truly knew what that weapon was going to behave like. You truly knew what that weapon was going to do when you started shooting. And now they've gone through and added this, taken out the predictive recoil, given it a more so standard shape of the pattern and then added in deviation here and there which is very awkward and again I, that's basically a way to make it so that you're not guaranteed to know what your gun is going to do so that you don't automatically have that advantage in every fight hence the skill gap being a lot lower giving more players more of a chance in any random fight but even as we saw on the wars unload out graph it's not every single pattern that does that it's one out of every two one out of every three so on and so forth which is a bummer because the, you don't know when it's going to strike you know it could happen at any point and cost you that gunfight and like i said even if you're tuning for max recoil here even if you have all the recoil attachments on there it can still happen so i wish this was a case where i could say hey this would fix this but it's really not you know i've seen some talk of oh aim assist will do the work for you anyways keep in mind aim assist is very broken and very strong but it's not going to change your recoil pattern at all it won't bring your gun back in line it's going to keep you on target but won't change the pattern whatsoever uh this is something that basically is just going to happen in gameplay and you're going to have to adapt when it does happen hopefully 
hopefully you can you know recorrect the aim there and bring it back on target if your bullets are strung out left to right hopefully you can you know stop to reload one thing that actually i do think is kind of curious to note is if we go back to this image here you do notice that even in pattern two when the uh pattern goes very you know awkward and out of the way the first few bullets here the first about you know 40 percent of the bullets here all start with the same pattern though going basically straight vertical with a few jumping out left to right the only way to truly combat this if you will could potentially be to tap fire weapons now in certain cases that would work in certain cases it won't it's a very situational thing but you know shooting your first 15 bullets here stopping giving it a second restarting shooting your first 15 bullets here stopping giving it a second shooting your first 15 stopping shooting your first 15 the patterns will at least be a little bit more consistent there but that's also weapon specific the pattern may be more obnoxious and more random earlier on for a different weapon so this is a very interesting system would be curious to see your guys thoughts on this down in the comments below but that is going to wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications that way you can always guarantee you're up to date with all things going on in the world of call of duty but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out